when you're a kid, you answer with all the enthusiasm in the world, something like, I want to be an astronaut, or I'd like to be a policeman, or I want to be a ballerina, or I'd like to be an artist. And those are all great because when you're a kid, the world is open with possibilities. Work seems full of purpose and passion. But then, as we get older and we have these dreams, people tell us things like, no, come on, be practical. Or, hey, how are you ever going to make any money doing that? And over time, the word work becomes a dirty four-letter word. And it probably won't surprise you to find out that surveys show that only one in five Americans is actually happy and satisfied and engaged with their work. Hi, I'm Dr. Susan Bernstein, and I help people to come alive in their work. I wasn't always that way. After completing my MBA, I went into management consulting, and I was miserable. And it took me 10 years to get out after being burned out. I help people significantly shorten that path to finding work that truly fits. But while I was burned out, my heart was whispering to me regularly, what about psychology? Which was the course of study that I had left behind in my undergrad. I studied economics because it seemed like the safe thing to do or the right thing to do. But I never really loved that. Well, I ultimately put my head in the service of my heart, and I used my head to help me find programs in psychology. And I ultimately got my PhD in mind-body psychology from the Santa Barbara Graduate Institute. And when I finished, I started working with people to help them enhance their work. And what I discovered in working with over 2,000 people since 2001 is that if you want work that truly fits for you, that truly brings you alive, you can't figure it out. You need to feel it out. So today I'd like to show you a way to do that. And I'd like to make sure that you have paper and pen handy because we're going to be going through an exercise together. So if you don't already have some paper and a pen, please pause the video. I'll wait for you and come on back. Great, so now we're ready to move into an exercise. And what I'd like to have you do, if you're really wanting to find work that truly fits for you, I want to encourage you to redefine the word work. I want to suggest that you make it your job to maximize your role. And role is an acronym that stands for Return on Life Energy. It's your job to maximize your return on life energy. In other words, to minimize your energy drains and to maximize your energy gains. So with that piece of paper that you have handy, I'd like you to write the word drains across the top. And then I'd like you to write the things that are draining your energy. And for each person that's unique, like your signature or your DNA. But for me, for example, when I was in management consulting, it was a real drain to me to do so much of my work alone because I'm really a people person. That might be a kind of a drain for you. Or maybe it's a drain for you to do repetitive work. It's just too monotonous for you. I'd like you to take a moment and write down the things that are draining your energy. Please pause the video, take as much time as you need, and come back when you're ready. Okay, now you've written down your energy drains. I'd like you to take a moment and look over those drains, read the whole list, and notice how you feel in your body. How does your body respond to these? Maybe you feel heavy, or you feel a little sick to your stomach, or you get tight, tense somewhere. Your body's telling you something. And what I want to know is, are you listening? Now, I want to take you to your energy gains. So please write the word gains on your page. And I'd like you to think about what fills you with energy at work. What is it that you really enjoy, that gives to you when you do it? So for me, when I was in consulting, it was a real gain to me to get to work with people one-on-one -on -one and watch them transform. And I didn't get enough of that. I wanted more. What is it that you do that you're hungry for, that you love a lot, you'd actually probably want more of? Please write down your energy gains. So if you need to, please pause the video, go ahead and write what, where you get your energy gains from, and come back when you're ready. Okay. As we did before, what I'd like to have you do is now read your list of your energy gains. And again, notice how you feel in your body. Perhaps you feel light and airy or uplifted. Notice that your body feels different about your gains than you did about your drains. And again, your body's signaling you. Ask yourself, 
What's my body telling me here? One more step that you can do with your drains and your gains is to transform those into your desires. What is it you're truly wanting? So what your drains are telling you is that if you have a compass in your hand and you were planning to go north, maybe your drain's telling you, hey, you're going south, you're going the wrong direction. So great, all you need to do is reorient yourself. So for example, one of my drains was working alone. If I want to tune that up into a desire, it might be I want to work in a team. I want to be, have, be really connected to other people. So I'd like you to take each of your energy drains and turn those around, help them point north for you. And then look at your energy gains and you might think, well, these are already things that I fill up with energy about. Yes, but are they really pointing north? Maybe they're just a few degrees off. Great, maybe you tune it up. So if, for example, it was an energy gain to me to help transform people. But maybe I needed to think about what kind of people I'd like to do that transformation with or about what I'd like to transform them. So look at your energy gains and tune those up even more into desires. And now what you're able to do is you've got a list of the things you're desiring and I encourage you to take one move, one action each week to move in that direction. Maybe it's a phone call you make to find out something or you talk to your manager or you take a class, what can you be doing to move more in the direction of your desires around work? Because what you're really doing is you're maximizing your role, your return on life energy, minimizing your drains, maximizing your gains, and you will find that you will come more alive at work and you will be a mover and a shaker.